Hi there everyone and welcome back for a short tutorial about how we can use the Avogadro constant to determine the number of molecules, atoms, protons, etc. in a sample of a substance. The Avogadro constant is on your datasheet and it represents the number of particles per mole of a substance. I'm going to use some information about paracetamol tablets to help show you its use in chemical calculations. My first job is to calculate the number of moles of my substance in my sample, so for the paracetamol, in one tablet we are told there is a 0.5 gram dosage, which when we divide by the correct molar mass value gives us a mole value of 0.00331 mole of paracetamol per tablet. Now that I have moles, the Avogadro constant can be used to determine some other quantities. The mole value I have is for molecules of paracetamol. So if I now multiply the mole value by the Avogadro constant, I will achieve a value for the number of molecules in my sample. I can then tweak this value which I've calculated for the number of paracetamol molecules to represent other quantities. For example, there are 8 carbon atoms per molecule of paracetamol, so I can now multiply my number of molecules by 8 to determine the number of carbon atoms. This works for other aspects of the substance too, like oxygen atoms, atoms in general, and even electrons. If a formula contains ions, you can use it for those too. That's it for this short tutorial. Please leave a like before you go and until next time, happy revising.